so hello friends welcome back to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to install custom recovery on realme 6785 devices so today i have realme 6 so first thing you need to do is to go to settings go to about phone and go to version and click on the build number for six to seven times then in the additional settings go to developer options and in developer options turn on the usb debugging and go back and just insert the usb cable and now click on transfer files and let's get to pc so to install a custom recovery on your device adb and fastboot drivers should be installed in your pc and the platform tools zip should be extracted so at first let me go to the file manager now go to the platform tools folder type cmd here and let's check the device is connected or not so the device is connected now enter the command now after typing this command the device will reboot into bootloader or fastboot will look like this for verify fail now when the device is in fast boot mode just check if it is connected so when the device is connected just flash the twrp recovery for that type this command fast boot flash recovery then drag and drop the recovery so currently i am flashing the twrp 3.6 which is compatible with realme y 2.0 c19 which is realme y 2.0 based and this is for realme 6 6i indian variant so if you are flashing recovery in realme 7 naso 20 pro or naso 30 4g then there is a separate recovery file for that i will put that in the description now let's flash the recovery so you can see the recovery is being flashed now after flashing the recovery flash the vv meter so I have given the command fastboot fast boot flash meter, then drag and drop the VV meter file and this VV meter is for realme 6, 6i, G90 devices. So if you are flashing in realme 7, naso 20 pro or naso 34 g then make sure to flash the VV meter of that device. So when the VV meter is flashed, just reboot into system or you can reboot into recovery. So let's reboot into recovery by entering the command fastboot reboot recovery. So it is rebooting into recovery mode. So you can see the TWRP is here. So we have successfully installed the custom recovery TWRP on our device. So this is it for this video. If you found this video helpful, make sure to do subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.